apron and Andy Ayling for Queensbury Promotions, sponsored by Raynham Steel. And Nemirov proudly presents 12 three-minute rounds for the vacant European Heavyweight Championship, live and exclusive on Box Nation from the Copper Box here at the Olympic Park in London. Your officials are appointed by the European Boxing Union and the British Boxing Board of Control. Your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Jan Christensen of Denmark, Mr. Christophe Fernandez of France and Mr. Gregors Molenda of Poland. Your EBU steward in charge this evening is Mr. Peter Stucki of Switzerland. Your British Boxing Board of Control steward is Charles Charles of Castle Bromwich. Your timekeeper de Bell is Michael McCann. And when the ref and your referee this evening in charge of the action is Mr. Guido Cavalieri of Italy. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner with a record of 23 wins, one loss, and 14 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 17 stone. And tonight wears black shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Schwerin, Germany. Edmund Kerber! And across the ring in the blue corner stands the WBO international champion. His record reads 17 wins, 4 losses with 11 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 16 stone, 11 pounds, and tonight wears black shorts with the Union Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Finchley, London, Derek Chisola! Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Don Charles, Chisora's trainer, just trying to get him to focus now. Gentlemen, please remember Concentrate on the job in hand. Okay, shaking in, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, 12-3 minutes for the, the weekend, taller man. He has got a slightly straightforward, predictable style. Tends to fight in straight lines, but he can bang a bit, he can punch. Chisora, we know, when he really fancies the job, can be a formidable proposition and comes into this on the back of a very good victory indeed beating Malik Scott the previously undefeated American in his last fight back in July what's he going to deliver tonight visibly overcome by emotion as he made his way into the ring Barry yeah it's been a stressful time for him, a very emotional time for everyone in boxing but you know, he was very close to Dean Powell with the Shizora camp, and uh, you could see it in, in his emotions tonight. I'm sure he want to put a statement out and dedicate this, this fight to Dean. But he needs to keep moving his head when he's coming forward, though. Gerber can punch, especially with that right hand, so Derek, even though he takes a good shot, still needs to keep that head plenty mobile. Chisora as a fighter, he likes the style of Joe Frazier, likes to get in there and throw plenty of hooks, working off the jab. Did fight for the European title before, of course, when he fought against Robert Hellenius back in December 2011. That's a night he'd rather forget. One of the, let's say, uh, certainly not one of the better decisions that I've seen in the last year or two. No, he won that fight clearly and everyone knew it. Just took a good body shot there, though, from Gerber. Two of them landed. Hefty shots. He has got himself into shape for this, Chisora. 16-11. I think that's a career lightest. It's certainly yeah. way, way. It was 18 stone nine when he fought Tyson Fury. You know, he, he got himself into good shape for the last fight against Malik Scott and never really got the credit because of the way the fight finished. Never got the credit how he went about his work. Put loads of pressure on Scott and boxed very, very well that night. Chisora would love another go against Tyson Fury. I know that for a fact. If he comes through this, he'd probably offer to uh, fill that vacant <laughs> engagement <laughs> next week. Right now. Oh, 
good right hand there from Derek Chisora. Winner of this one clearly would take a significant step forward to getting back towards world title contention in the case of Chisora or moving up into that sort of level in the case of Edmund Germer. That's a lovely uppercut from Chisora. Quality shot, right hand. Good work. Putting his punches together well in this opening round. And smothering the work of Gerber as well. He won't, just won't give him opportunity to work on him all the time. He's gone to work in this opening three minutes with a real attacking intent, Chisora. Well, like I said, still got to keep moving ahead when he's coming forward, but a good start there for Derek Chisora. Good three minutes of action, almost more in that first three minutes there than we saw in 12 in the last fight. <laughs> Bring that up. Give me the water, give me the water. Put your feet out. Don Charles. Charles, as Chisora refers to him. Concentrate. How does that feel? He's the coach. Talk to me. Yeah. Really fairly pleased with what he's been doing there. A good response. He took a, took a decent right hand off Gerber, but then came back with his own looping right hand over the top, and that was the uppercut that you, you pointed out. Lovely, well-delivered shot. Just dipped the left shoulder, didn't he, to get, make room for the shot. And a good, good start for Derek. This is a title which was vacated by Kubrat Pula. You fit for it, yeah? That was good round. Excellent like, Bulgarian who... Round. Went into that IBF eliminator Ooh, against yeah. Tony Thompson and won very handily. Had been talks of Chisora fighting Deontay Wilder, of course. That didn't happen because supposedly Wilder's legal uh, problems, although I don't think Derek was too impressed to see him over here sparring, Der uh, sparring David Hay. I'm told it wasn't Wilder, incidentally, who uh, caused that cut to Hay's eye. I wonder if that fight's ever going to happen now. I think it will because it's just so much money involved, isn't it? But it was a big setback for everybody, isn't it? Spoiled my weekend. I was ready to uh, build a bit of a social life around that one. <laughs> shouldn't, imagine da shouldn't imagine David Hayes too worried about that, mind you. I said, Derek needs to stay closer. Well, you just give a little bit of space there between the between him and Gerber. And and got caught coming in, so he needs to be close at all times. Keep bobbing our head, that Joe Fraser's bobbing and weaving type style. I think you can break Gerber's heart, I do, I really do. I think he feels sorry for himself if Derek keeps the pressure on. response there though from Gerber you know he took a few good body shots trying to throw some back that's good from Chisora he's using his considerable physical strength to try and push the big German back keep this one up for 12 rounds it's going to be a grueling old contest but you can't imagine that it's going to continue at this sort of intensity for that sort of period well, this, is, know. this is Derek's sort of fight isn't it this is where he wants it Clever right hand there from Gerber just before Derek unleashes with the body assault yet again oh lovely He looks sharp tonight, Chisora. Quality work, isn't it, John? German's face is marking up. Van Gerber born in Kazakhstan, been a professional for six years. To be fair, Gerber's not, he's not bad, technically. He doesn't do a lot of things wrong. It's just one pace, isn't he? As we've seen against Michael Sprott. Oh, Twice. Good shot again. He felt that. I'm impressed by these hooks that Chisora's firing in. Impressive accuracy from Chisora. Really does look on the money this evening. 
good right hand on the top there from Tesoro again. Oh, good round. Well, what a good round that was from Derek Tesoro. Very impressive. Keeps that together, it's not going to last the full distance, I tell you that much. Put your legs out. Spit. I need my, my core towel in my hand. Give my core towel, please. Ian, just talking? step up on the ring, man. He was really going to work, targeting the body. And the variety in his work, one of the young hooks to the body and coming back with the uppercut then straight away just mixing it from head to body just confusing Gerber good, good work really good work still got to take some shots mind off Gerber but the body shots are working nice. keep doing it okay. more than a one dimensional fighter remember that yeah. round three third round we've got the first two to Derek Chisora this European Heavyweight title fight. The vacant belt. Trying to get some space in his work now, Derek, and, and beating Gilbert to the jab. This is, this is where I want him, this is where I want him to do his work. Test of strength as much as anything. And fitness, John, isn't it? Because you know, they're pushing against each other, two heavy men. Those little uppercuts, even though they're, even though they're heavy shots, they're, they're irritating. They take it out of you. They really do. They're, they're, they're soul destroying punches to take a good a good uppercut. good from Tesora, but he had to take one back and a solid one. Oh, good shot there. Three or four good hooks off Tesora. He's going for it now, John. Gerber's under attack. And Tesora starting to unload. The big German having to give ground. Concerted body attack from Tesora. Just too fast, isn't it, for, for Gerber? The pace is too high for him. Good uppercut though in response there, Gerber. Landing with hitting Derek's head back. Smear of blood from the big Kazakh's nose. And Tizora starting to go to work. There's a cut around the eye now as well, which Chisora will be inspired by powering on the pressure. He's wading in with heavy shots. He's breaking his heart, John, slowly. Oh, good right hand there from Chisora. Uh, he's busting him up and doing a number on him now. Big round for Chisora, that one. Crowd like that one. Through threes of hooks, wasn't it? That really set the tone for that round. And two little spells, didn't he? Three or four left or right hooks. Catching Gerber flush each time. Got a decent fan base back home in Germany. Got a Sverin. German television will be covering this one. Very respected trainer in his corner, Carsten Rover. But if he's got to find a way of turning this round, I can't for the life of me at this stage see where it's coming from. Chisora looks like a man on a mission. He really does, and he's got the right idea, haven't they? Fight at the high pace. Six. 
seconds up, round four. Fourth round of this 12 rounder. All three so far, clearly, to Derek Chisora. Again, Gerber's just in the wrong place, isn't he? He needs to keep his distance. He's got a nice, solid, straight right hand, but he's not, he can't use it that close. He needs to take a little half a step back. Try and get Kestetic coming in. Not giving Derek anything, you know, not giving any resistance, is he? Just letting Derek walk up right close to him and work away. Just apropos, nothing at all, really, just for a moment. Of course, Ken Norton losing his life this year, at the, uh, this week, at the age of 70. If you've never seen Norton fight, get on YouTube, do yourself a favour, and go and watch Ken Norton against Larry Holmes in 1978. What a fight. What a fight that was. He was a good fighter in an era of great heavyweights, wasn't he, really? That, that was his only, his only fallback, wasn't he? In a different era, he would have, he would have ruled, I'm sure. Oh, oh good shot. And Chisora wants to get onto him. Well, he's suggesting that he's not hurt, but he certainly wants to go onto his bike for a moment. That's the best front that Chisora's opponent, Edmund Gerber, has thrown. And another right hand. That's two good shots here in this fourth round. It's the distance, isn't it? He's got the distance to throw the right hand. But Derek needs to get back on his chest, smothered his work. He needs to find a way to get in. He's just going to get his head straight. Well, how badly do you think he was hurt? Was he? I think he was, most definitely. He wouldn't run around this much with you if he didn't feel it. I'm not saying he was going to go down, but he must have, must have shook him up. You know Gilbert can punch with that right hand. It's not a snappy shot, it's a heavy, heavy, heavy right hand that he has. We do know that Chisora can take a shot. Tyler Klitschko couldn't put him away. David Hay did. But it takes a lot to move Derek Chisora. That was a good shot, though, from Edmund Gerber. <laughs> Left hand looked as though it was low. Yeah, blocked as well, wasn't it? Oh, a lovely little combination there from Derek. Well, he showed a bit of ring savvy and experience getting on his bike and staying away, and he looks as though he's now fully focused and recovered. Well, he's stopped in the style, hasn't he? He's looking to uh, get up on his toes a little bit, do a little bit of jabbing, a little bit of moving. I'm not sure that's, that's necessarily the best way to be. That's more where he wants to be. Good round, this. <laughs> Good round. Yeah, but those two right hands, were they enough Good to one, take right? the round away from Chisora? Not for me, John, no, I think the work rate again at Derek was enough to win that round. round. Here's the first one. Whoa, that was, a, that was a cracker. Really was a crunching shot, he done well. A, oh, really. That was the same one from a different angle, just in case you didn't get the full impact of it from the first camera shot. Chisora are coming back. But he got clocked by another, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He got clocked right, by two right hands. But for the, the majority, Give me more water, please. it was I'm all uh, Derek Chisora. Corners, 10 seconds. Yeah, drink some water. Listen, wake up, right? You, you're winning this fight by miles. Don't give it away. Don't keep tight. Second round. Huh? Round five. Four nil on Barry Jones's scorecard here. But arguably the most concussive punches were the ones that Chisora absorbed in that fourth round. First one in particular was a real humdinger, and the big fella did well to take it. Yeah, you don't have to be taking too many of them, does he? That's for sure. He just gets back on his original tactics with the right the tactics to do. Well, Derek has a good worker, doesn't he? He's a good good engine, I think. And his body shots are gonna, gonna play their part down the stretch if it goes that far. Good little uppercut there from Gilbert. 
Zora also looking for the same punch. Paravan trying to bring the punches up in the middle. Thirteen shots, aren't they? With body shots. Good, but look at the hold now. Trading right hands there. Again, those body shots just slowing Gerber down, aren't they? He just, he just doesn't want to throw so many punches. Right hand from the German just catching to Zora as he came in. Yeah, well, well, it's when Derek throws a right hand, he needs to keep the left hand tight to his face, doesn't he? He drops it a little bit, gives Gerber the opportunity to land with that right hand. Now Chisora going to work again. <laughs> Has maintained an impressive work rate tonight. Just missing a hold of a hand right there, Derek. A testament to his conditioning, isn't it? The number of punches that he's been able to go and the way he's able to sustain it, and he's in trouble here. A couple of good left hooks there from Derek. The legs just stiffened a bit when that right hand connected, and it's all over. Referee has stopped it. All over in the fifth round, and Derek Chisora is the champion of Europe. That is a good performance. An emotional night for Derek Chisora. He wanted to deliver, and he most certainly has done. When the opportunity came, he kept, kept the pressure up, kept on raining in heavy shots, body shots, event, eventually creating the opening, and when he got the chance, he wasn't about to let it go begging. But he caught, when he had, had Gerber on the rugs, he caught him with a couple of solid left hooks, then he seemed to make Gerber turn his back a little bit, and then when then it went back in to finish it off, the referee rightly thought that Gerber was in no state to continue, but good win. It was all from the very beginning, wasn't it? From the wrong one, just for loads of pressure on him. And he lands with a couple of good left hooks. And we just missed it, actually, just before that. Well, I'll tell you what... That right hand over the top just didn't glance the jaw. And I'll tell you what, Barry, if those are the tactics that Dean Powell left with Derek Chisora, he did a pretty good job of them. Oh, it's a good tribute to, hit to his friend, isn't it? He broke his heart, John, that's what he did. Just broke, broke Gerber's heart. Almost went there with that right hand. There was nothing coming back, nothing. And I think the referee was absolutely right. And those body shots for sure played a big part, didn't they? From round from the first round straight away, just wearing Gerber down, tiring him out. And he did, like, like you said, he just he broke his spirit, didn't he? He's on the in on the corner there, just feeling sorry for himself and didn't protest when the referee stepped in. Fifth round stoppage then. And Derek Chisora keeps himself very much in that heavyweight mix. There'll be big opportunities ahead still. There's talk of him fighting Deontay Wilder. Maybe that can still happen at some stage. Thomas Adamek, the crowd-pleasing Polish heavyweight, he'd be another possibility. And there are plenty of others out there as well. Derek Chisora, of course, wants Vladimir Klitschko. They exchanged words, shall we say, in a nightclub in Ibiza and of course a few pleasantries prior to the fight against Vitaly Klitschko the face full of water and now I think confirmation of the results we can go into the ring and hear from Mark Burdis about a very impressive victory indeed for Derek Chisora Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes and 50 seconds of round five your referee has stopped the contest he deemed Edmund Gerber was in no position to continue. The winner and the new European heavyweight champion from Finchley, Derek Chizora!
Well, that was a performance to take some pride in for Derek Chisora. Very good tonight. He got himself into great shape. He produced the performance he wanted to. And as a tribute to his friend and mentor, that was a pretty fitting one. Derek Chisora, champion of Europe. Very emotional night for Derek Chisora entering the ring in tears, leaving it with the belt that signifies he is the champion of Europe. Gerber, Kazakh living in uh, Germany now, not in my class. He said he's proved absolutely right. I tell you, that's as good as I've seen Derek Chisora, if I'm honest with you. It was good, Jim, and as much as I like emotion, I like to see my fighters wear their hearts out on their sleeves. But there was a point there in, in, in that, was that third round when he got hooked with that right hand, and you watch it in slow-mo, he was gone. Now, that's because he was too hyped up. And a bit of a lesson there for you, Mr. Gogo. -Go. You've got to control what's inside there and put, use what's inside there. He's a different sort of fighter. I think he's shed that weight, he's taken it, the penny has dropped, and now he's the champion of Europe, and he'll get another world title shot being champion of Europe as well, won't he, Anthony? Without a doubt, no, I think that is the best Derek I've ever yeah. seen. Um, it's, a, it's a mile away from, from the guy that boxed Tyson Fury a few years ago, too sure. heavy and too, too slow, but look at that, 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 that combination, that speed, is, you know, that top, top notch off Derek Chisora today. Everything there, Jim, was about getting this guy out and making a statement, and we talked about this a couple of hours ago. This is all about this, getting in line for one of the Klitschko's, or if Povetkin beats Vladimir, or at least in a big fight with a Deontay Wilder. And he went out and he wanted to make a statement tonight, and he's made a big statement on the world stage. I just think it's a good, good lesson as well. I mean, listen, he got tagged, he got properly tagged, but um, he used his old experience, his brain there, when he did get tagged, as you see him finishing the fight here, uh, that, uh, cleared his head, kept out of trouble, and gave him the power uh, and the strength to do what he did there, Anthony. Definitely, no, yeah, he's, um, he's an experienced guy, and obviously he's fought for the world title before, so he knows what he's doing, and that was nice, that was good intelligence. He's not just a you know, big, burly heavyweight, he's got, he's got a good brain on, on, uh, in the head as well. There we are, fight over, European champion Derek Chisora, he is now ringside, so is Frank Warren, and so is Alex. Thanks very much. Derek, uh, European champion, second time around, you should have got it before, you've got it now, how does that feel? feels all right, you know, it's a very sad day for me, you know, uh, one of my main, main guys is not here with us no more, you know, uh, I cried a bit, you know, but I kept my, compo my, my composure, you know, I miss that guy, he's the one who put me in Union Jack, most people ask me, why are you always in Union Jack, you know, because Dean Powell put me in Union Jack, so uh, rest in peace, brother, and I love you, man. Were you using that as a motivation tonight, was that part of your performance? No, you know, uh, I've been training every day, you know, I... Uh, I told my team that I'm going to give myself three years in this game, every day training non-stop. You know, next time you see me, I'll probably be hitting 15 stones. That's, I think, as good as I've seen you. Is, is this the new latest Derek Chisora? Yes, you know what, uh, we fit, you know, uh, two days off the gym and I'm back in the gym again. You know, we have to carry on working. I'm not, you know, I'm better than all these fighters in Great Britain. I don't know why I let myself down one day, so uh, I'm back to normal and I'm going to push on. Why is this? Have you just woken up? Yeah, I just woken up. You know, uh, my mum told me, you know what, either you do this seriously or stop. So now I'm taking it seriously. Uh, Frank Warren, he's in the top ten for the WBO. He's got the European title. The Klitschko's are probably just around the corner. What next? And how proud are you of him tonight? I'm really proud. I'm, you know, for, for a lot of reasons. It was an emotional night for him. I, you know, I could see his face when he got in the ring. It was quite tearful. I could, you know, and it was... Uh, and that was a bit of a worry as far as his boxing was concerned. But the fact of the matter is, Derek, you know, there was always a really good boxer inside that body. And he's now got the body into some shape. So the engine's there, we know. We know the brain's there. And he can do it when he needs to. And you think he's three stone lighter. I think he's three stone lighter when he fought Tyson Fury. Think about that. Tyson Fury hasn't got an opponent. Derek Chisora, Tyson Fury in December. What a fight that would be for the British public. Wouldn't it? That'd be a great fight for the British public, and that's what should be happening. You'd love that again? Yeah, I'd love that. You know, uh, Tyson's a great, uh, great guy. If he wants to fight, we do it. Let's bring Don Charles in just briefly. Don, Don, come on in. Um, he was throwing uppercuts from body shots. He was doing just about everything tonight. What have you been working on in the gym, and how impressed were you? What you saw there is what uh, eight years of work that's always been in there. Like he said to you earlier on, he's finally woken up. Yeah, this kid has got, let's say he's at 60%, there's another 40% to come. He may never reach 100. I believe there's about 40% more to come from Derek Chisora. It's been an emotional week. It's been an emotional night. Final word for you. Uh, 
You know what? I, to, to everybody out there who watches boxing, support everybody. Different, different, different channels support us. You know, while we're in our prime, enjoy the sports of boxing, and uh, we love you all. Top class. Well done tonight.